Right. Well, we're here at uh, Stephen Justin family's house, and uh, we got a really good update. It's been a minute, I know, but uh, it's been a good minute because, wow. Yeah, we got we got all kinds of fun going on. So we got uh, the roof on. Was the roof on before? No. <laughs> the roof is on. We got the roof on. We got it insulated. Look at that. Four way is uh, we're past the four way. We got all the framing. All done, obviously, with the four-way being done. This is we the... got master master closet here. Walk-in walk -in mm -hmm. closet. This will just be an open archway. Oh, good. There'll be a door here. So that'll stay open. Master bath. Got the tub. Got the tub fixed. shower. Deep tub. Oh, for yeah. For a big fat guy like me. Big old, big old tub. Nice wide space for the uh, The crapper over here. For a big fat guy like me. <laughs> look at that. And then look at the fan. Yeah, it's huge. I think it's gonna push so much. Look at that, guys. Oh. It's gonna push so much air out of there. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. We we wanted a big fan in here um, because three windows. We want to make sure that, that where the closet's gonna be open. We want to make sure all that moisture gets pushed out when we're showering. Oh yeah. That way we don't have to deal with clothes getting moist, damp wet whatever uh vanity is gonna go in this box so it's all framed in um it'll be a cabinet nice. vanity um and then, then the two double sinks, sinks. Yep. yep two sinks and then we got our bedroom so we've got one light fixture here there's one with the light in it there and then a third on the far end they uh three-way so there'll be a switch here and then the one by the door that'll control both of those oh yeah you have you you probably haven't seen the windows either no this, you probably haven't seen the windows either no this is big old look big at old those. windows holy moly coming in look at that nice uh nice size we thought that the window over there was big and then <laughs> ben when he was doing the plans he's like i can do better yeah <laughs> i got this the, so we, we call him we call him the architect the architect yeah the architect her engineer well, I don't know. No, we call him the architect and this is pretty cool i like um <clears throat> you got a nice threshold beam across look at those yeah it's awesome bro yeah so we've got that um this is gonna be power um hmm. power outlets here and then this piece is uh hdmi oh yeah for your so tv we'll have our tv mounted here cool and we'll run hdmi connections to it and this um, is the older part of the house obviously yeah we're getting to the older part so this i'm kind of glad they hadn't filled this in yet so this used to be a vent that came up it, it uh, fed into this room but we needed to, so this room's gonna have over here, I guess I should point that out too. Over here we've got um, our AC. Oh yeah. So you can see our AC lines. So we've got a mini split, a pump, that's gonna be on the wall here that'll do both AC and heat. Um, so it's gonna feed this area plenty. So we didn't need the extra vent there and where that was in the middle of the room. We thought, hey, we know what to do with this. So when we go downstairs, you'll see the line. Okay. But it feeds the be basement bedroom on this Very side. Very cool. Yeah. There's um, no reason for ducting over here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially with that, that mini split's going to be enough to, it'll it'll actually bleed out into the hall and yeah. help pull the rest of the house and everything. Uh, fire alarm. Up. Oh, yep. There. It's better fire code. Um, over here. I'm trying to remember. We had. It might just be power. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it's just power ran power. power. Right here. Yeah. Um, there will be a network box. So right now it's on the other side. I'm going to fl flip it so it'll be mounted on this side of the wall instead of the, cool. the other bedroom side. You got a new window here too? New window here, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so we, we did the update on this window. Partially to match, partially because it was an original from 1956. So, oh. needed a refresh. <laughs> yeah, 1956. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got our hall bathroom. Whoa. So, hello. 
bigger vanity in here as well. Yeah. Um, so there'll be an overhead light bar that runs here. Um, not quite as big as the master bath. It's about a foot more narrow, but same style. Yeah. So it'll go here, single sink, toilet will be here, shower instead of tub. That was because we had to match code so we couldn't have uh, the tub, the tub doesn't allow for enough space in front of the toilet. So oh, okay. we went with the shower and put the tub in the master. Very nice. This wall is now sheeted because it's a structural wall. Oh. So they had to put the sheeting on it. So do you just have to put a drywall over that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so drywall will go over that. Um, and then we've got our ventilation fan that we added. We a light or the switch for that. Right when in here. Rome, right? You know what I'm saying? Well, we had to. We lost the window. Take a and you can hit the switch yeah hit the switch for the ventilation awesome power will be still on the wall here yep and then we got you look Vanity. inside the old house old wall well this yeah, is structural this is all yeah this is all uh, I like old awesome steve old house we come to the kitchen so kitchen space <coughs> kind of how it's laid out we'll have Cupboards with countertops all along here. Sink, sink will be here, dishwasher to the side. Um, the corner cabinets are gonna be at a 45. So they'll face, so the face of the cabinet's gonna be at an angle rather than squared up. Um, we've got outlets all along. You can see all the outlets running right along ready. the top. Yep. Uh, the switches, so the end switch there. So that's a four switch. Uh, set power box yeah end switch goes to the family room so it's a three-way switch with the family room the second one that's got the switch will control all the cans so these overhead um, next switch over uh, will control the fan which is gonna go right here oh yeah actually I think they're moving that's gonna be capped the fans gonna go here oh that makes so sense central okay <laughs> and then the last switch there will control uh, under cabinet LED lighting. And that's what we. Is what the. What yeah. the. Uh, for several of the. It would look like speaker coming. wire, but it, it is. It is the LED. Yeah. There's another one over here. Low, low voltage. Yeah. And then there's another one here. So they'll have cool. the different yeah. points where that comes through and this will be where your gas oven or is it electric yeah well it's both so you have both gas and electric our the one we have is is gas yeah um but we'll have both connections this is the old part of the house yeah this is that beam that steve was talking about we didn't yeah. see that on the last video big old, big old. that's that's the second biggest <laughs> the heavy ones in the middle. Yeah, that's what I saw. But the way they've uh, the way they've done the can lighting, they basically have the kitchen running in essence from this space that way. So that switch that turns on the cans will turn these ones on that are over here as well. And then there's three cans over here, kind of in the dining room section, that are controlled by the switch here. Oh yeah. So these three. We'll come on with this switch. So we got which has one, two, and three. Yeah. And that has a three-way switch as well over on the other side by the stairs. Very cool. Then we've got a uh, pantry here with uh, a light can light inside that's controlled by this switch on the inside. Oh here. yeah, yep, inside. So what this will have, so the door door is going to open from the from the left to the right, and then we'll have shelving that runs along the back, and then on this side we're going to have like two foot shelving, so deeper shelves that'll that'll kind of it'll it'll the shelves will form an L, basically. Very cool. Um, nice little pantry here, man. That's cool. Yep, I'm all set up. The bottom will be tall enough to fit five gallon buckets under oh yeah that's a nice uh look at these windows huh nice again yeah big windows. huge man this one's the same size here um as the two in the new section of the 
master bedroom. Um, this one's just a little smaller because we just had. That's nice. Look at this space. It's going to be huge. That's going to be massive. So, yeah. So we'll have the, the dining table will sit here. Uh -huh. But then this is all going to be open space so we can bring in tables or folding tables for parties and stuff yeah, when we have parties or gatherings when you when you celebrate my birthday every year yeah yeah exactly there you go exactly uh, we may end up getting down the road we may end up getting a rolling island depending on if we decide we need more counter space but there's so the fridge is going to go on that corner yep other than the fridge though there's literally going to be counter space up, up to the stove and then counter space again and then on this on the north wall counter space up to the sink nice. counter space running all around the corner so we're gonna have plenty of counter space mm -hmm. we may not need the island we're kind of gonna see how it feels yeah. and go from there what those neat i love this corner i never envisioned okay. it being like this yeah so and then you have the uh, the water yeah. connection there for the fridge ice cubes yep yep, yep. we love ice we love ice makers. All right. They never had ice. Then we can do an update downstairs. Heck Hopefully yeah. there's still enough light. I think there is. Until we, uh, until we finish it later. Right. Um, you got your step? Yeah, you got the step down. <laughs> power box. Power box is all complete. Like I say, the four-way uh four way was a couple days ago now does this cover the whole upstairs this um, covers all the new the new addition plus um has some uh any any new um any of the connections in the kitchen even though it's in the old section mm -hmm. those all are new they all run to this. They abandoned all the old lines. Yeah. We don't want to touch any of the old system because then we have to bring the old system up to code. Yeah. And that's expensive. Just clip and snip. Yep. So we abandoned the old lines, put new lines in. So anything in the old section of the bedroom, the, like that ventilation line oh, yeah. for the, the bathroom, the hall bathroom, um, actually the power the power and everything in the old, in the old bathroom is was converted over to the, uh, the box here. Okay. Um, and then we've got uh, you got the uh, plumbing bones. That's right. Yeah. Look at that. <coughs> <coughs> wow. So all the sewer p traps, main lines. You can see where the water water for the tub comes up here. Mm -hmm. um, water for the toilets. This line here. Those wraps around there. And then they come along yep. to the main the main uh, three quarter inch lines that are along the along the framing on this back side. They're just mounted right to that back side of that floor joist. And you've got water lines for the two sinks. There's a line here that goes out to the back for the the spigot out in the backyard. Okay. You got the drainage for the two sinks coming from this pipe. So they tee up huh. above and then come down into this pipe. And then this, this line is a uh, combustion line. Nope, I lied. Drawer. That one's the ventilation for the downstairs bathroom. Okay. And then combustion lines are here. Oh. For these wide ones or combustion lines for the um, furnace. Yes. Um, and then this guy he used to crawl down this window to get yeah, down here had the had the ladder <laughs> look how yeah, nicely yeah, that yeah. slides man I and guess. they lock when they shut that's yep. what i love about ours too well that's the other thing you can push it, they open so it stays unlocked that's cool until you push it open and then yeah right, it's too easy <laughs> and then it yeah. locks in place so, all right well i think uh we're excited for you man yeah we're we're very Get some excited. footage. I don't know if you can see us <laughs> down here, but yeah, maybe might be back. All right. Well, we had some extra bonus footage. Footage. <laughs> this is uh, what the downstairs bathroom looks like right now. Um, we got the clean out here. Oh yeah, That's much more light. light. And then you know all the tie-ins, the old fan, the water lines, the old window that used to be here, and then the strap. See, this is required. Everybody talks about the straps, so there you go. 
And look how look how nicely this is done. Yep, this is the downstairs bathroom. So it doesn't, doesn't look pretty, but it's it'll be it will we'll, be functional. And we'll trust me, it up. it's been functional in the past. It has. <laughs> so, kind of. When somebody's upstairs, this is this is the <laughs> last resort. <laughs> so and um, there's a strap here too. Yep. Look at that, man. That's really professional right there, bro. All right, now we're checking the outside of the construction. This is the addition to the house. Oh yeah. You got the roof. The roof. The roof is on the roof. Yeah. Look at this. All this demo. Look at these old windows. Somebody got the punchy punch. You always have to break the windows. Oh, yeah. Look how good, though. The eaves look good. Come back. Oh, yeah. Look at this out here, man. This is the back door. spot of the roof oh yeah check it out oh man look at that um oh shingled in all its glory i want to drop gum bear dang look at that people can you remember when we were down in a hole we were down there <laughs> we we're in a hole down there can't even see the back of the house now this is the back of the house you see the two combustion lines the combustion line lines the there for the ventilation oh yeah here you go come here oh. let's do a thumbnail do a spigot no i don't know there was an actual copper spigot well yeah you want to do copper yeah you gotta do copper copper hex will get burned in the sun oh yeah there's our ac connections yeah so that's where the unit will be very cool and that unit will work for both connections. Yeah, so both, both it's it's called a mini split. Yeah. And um, so basically it'll feed the lines to both units. And uh, yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah, the, the power. Uh, Power's in over here. Yeah. <clears throat> power connections all rolling. Downstairs, upstairs. Look at that. Good job, fellas. Hopefully your uh, construction people see the videos. Your contractor people. Yeah, hopefully. Because they're people too. They're awesome people. Oh yeah. Looks good, Steve. Yep. Steve and Jess, you guys uh, are waiting a while for this. Look at the connection here to the house. That's cool. Oh yeah, power connection. I want that. And then there's another strap. Yep. I learned a lot from straps from Bob Bilo. Yep, strapping it up anywhere. Anywhere you can. Check that out, man. That's awesome. And that's, I do believe that's called strapping, but I'll look it up and I'm sure you guys, if you watch my video, will correct me. But looks good, man. It's a lot colder out here than it is inside. Yeah, it's a little burr. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Steve and Jess's um, addition to their house. This old house. This old house. And uh, half old, half new. I've had one of those too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 2022, baby. And 1953? Six. 1956. Yeah. So I, um, <clears throat> the other house, the house in Sandy uh, was 1950 something too. 56 probably too. But um, it's exciting when you uh, complete a project. And you're getting there so uh we'll probably do um one more construction video and then uh probably the finishing video so um but we again we appreciate steve and jess and family letting us record and um peace out